In this video, we're going to give you an orientation to the Switch On Health learning platform. Now, first of all, if you are watching this on YouTube, you will see in the comments box below that we have put the timestamp for different sections of this video. So you're welcome to skip ahead to the parts that are relevant to you if you don't wish to sit through the whole thing. So first of all, how do we get to our learning platform? You might think that it's our website, switchonhealth.com.au. This is actually our main website. The learning platform has a different web address, which is switchonhealth.learnworlds.com. This is the address of our learning platform. So that's where you want to navigate to, to start your learning journey. When you first get here, this is what the page will look like. And if you haven't logged in before, what you want to do is click on this big green button in the top right corner that says sign up. Don't click on the one that says sign in. That's only if you've already got a login. If it's your first time here, please click sign up. When you do so, you can, if you wish, you can sign up using your Facebook account or your Twitter or LinkedIn profile or Google, or you can create a unique login for the Switch On Health Learning Platform by entering your details, name, email, your chosen password, and your phone number. You will be prompted to accept the terms and conditions. This really doesn't matter if all you want to do is have a look at free content. However, if you are enrolling or making a purchase from us, it will prompt you once again to read the terms and conditions. And when you're making a purchase or enrolling, we recommend that you do read them. So once you've filled out your details, you can click start your learning journey and you'll be led in to the learning platform. If it's not your first time here and you already have a login, simply click on this button that says sign in and you can see your web browser will hopefully remember you and you can just click log in and away you go. In this section, we're going to have a look at how you can have a look at free content. Now that you've logged in, your page will look something like this. You might have a little gray silhouette here. And the nice thing to do is to change your profile picture. So you can do that just by going to the top right corner here and selecting profile, and then you'll be able to upload a new image. We like to make it easy for you. So straight away on the page where you've landed after signing in, you can see straight away, you've got access to all of our subjects, which are all listed here. There's lots of them. To make it a bit easier to find the subject you want, we've also grouped them into categories. So let's say we click on herbal medicine. It's only going to bring up subjects that are specific to herbal medicine. You can, if you want to, also do a search. Now you have to note here that if you were searching for homeopathy, but you've selected the herbal medicine category, nothing's going to come up. So what we'll do is we'll just go back to all courses. And if you're interested in homeopathy, you might start searching for it. Homeopathy has got a funny spelling. There's two ways to spell it. We usually spell it with an extra O here. So if you type in homeo without the O, it might not come up. So let's assume you're interested in homeopathy. We've got lots of subjects here for you to have a look at, and you want to check out some free content. Well, let's start with the very first one, HOM 101. Simply click on this subject to select it, and then just scroll down. And what you're looking for is the course contents. Now this shows you everything that is in this subject. And you can do this with all of our subjects. What you are looking for are these little labels here that say free. Everybody likes free. So the subject outline is free, but that's not very exciting. So let's go to our free lesson. And you can see within this lesson, we've actually got four activities here. So let's start on the first activity. What is homeopathy? So we go in here and straight away, what you're actually looking at here is the actual content that people will see when they enroll with us. Hopefully this will be you sometime soon. Now to navigate around, you can use the previous and next buttons up the top here, or you can use the left-hand navigation menu and you can jump between the different activities. Now, when you're finished with this subject, to get out of here, 
just go to this bit up the top left that says back to course page. That will take you back to your subject. And to get out of this subject completely and check out a new one, you can either click home or you can click the little switch on health logo, which will take you to the home page, or you can click on the button that says subjects. For now, I'm just going to take you back to the home page. Now that you've enjoyed all the free content, let's say you're ready to enroll and learn more. Well, this is exciting. So let's take, for example, this subject here, AAP 101, Anatomy and Physiology 1. We actually recommend you do not start with this subject. There are better subjects to begin with, but I'm just going to click on this one to show you what it looks like. When you click on any of the subjects, you will see straight away if there are any prerequisites, this will be mentioned. And this front page will also tell you if there are any required textbooks. If there is a required textbook, there will usually be a hyperlink that will take you to a good place to purchase your text. So we can scroll down, we can see all the content, which is good to know before we even enroll. We've had a look at some of the free content. Now we really want to get stuck into it. So we just go to the learn more button and we can choose how do we want to purchase this subject. Do we just want to pay once or do we want to spread the payment out? Either one is fine. You can also see which qualifications this subject appears in. So this particular subject appears in homeopathy, Western herbal medicine, naturopathy and nutrition. It's a core subject. Now, let's say you don't want to enroll in just one subject. You're really keen. You want to enroll in an actual qualification. Good on you. So here we go. We have our qualifications here. When we click on the qualifications tab, advanced diploma of homeopathic practice, Western herbal practice, naturopathic practice, and nutritional practice. Let's take naturopathy. So make sure you click on year one. You can have a look at year two and year three if you like, but definitely start with year one. We click on the learn more button. It'll tell us a bit more about it. And it will also tell you exactly what is involved in that first year. And it will show you all the different subjects that you're going to get when you enroll in this first year. Once again, just hover over that learn more button and it will give you your different payment options. Okay, so now you have enrolled into either a subject or a qualification. Congratulations, this is the start of a wonderful new journey for you. Now to help you maximize your success, what we're going to do is we're going to show you a little subject we've created. There'll be more stuff being put in here soon, but we do have a little subject here that is called study resources. So let's click on this one and what we can see here, we'll just click on this little drop down. At the moment, we've only got three things in here, but what we've got is a switch on health assessments guide. And this is a really great document because it tells you pretty much how to get 100% in your assessments. So well worth having a look at that. We've also got a Harvard referencing guide here for you. Some of our assessments require referencing, not all of them. And we've also got a little video here, how to study offline if you want to be able to study away from your screen. Now, with all of the activities in the learning platform, anytime you see this little paperclip icon, that means that that activity is available for download. So you're welcome to download any files that have got this little paperclip icon and keep them forever and ever. So now that we know where to find our study resources, let's just jump back to the home page. Um, if you didn't want to go to the home page, you might also want to go to the subjects page, which really just shows you pretty much the same thing, but it's a slightly different layout. Now, what you'll see both on the home page and on the subjects page, we've got a category here. By default, all courses is selected. However, what you can do is click on my courses, and this will only show you the subjects that you have actually enrolled in. So it's a nice little shortcut. 
So let's say, for example, I'm going to have a look at HOM 101, Introduction to Homeopathy. Now, when I go to this subject, this button will look a little bit different. It will say continue learning. If you ever click on this, it's just going to take you back to the last place you were when you left off. So this is really good if you've been doing a study session and then you come back a few days later and you're like, ah, oh, where was I up to again? You can just click on this button and it will take you straight back there. Or of course, what you can do is just come down to your course contents and you can jump in and navigate to wherever you want to be. Also good if you want to do a little refresher. What was I reading again? <laughs> good study technique there. We'll talk about this more another time. But yeah, it's good to um, brush up on what you were doing previously when you start a new study session. So we're now going to have a look at some of the tools that come embedded in the learning platform that you might want to use. So let's say we're reading and we think, oh, uh, this is really interesting. Uh, antipathy, that's a new word for me. If we just select that text, you'll see that this little palette box comes up and the three buttons up the top here, they're for different colors that we can use to highlight that text. Now you might think, oh yeah, that's not a very good color highlight. I want to change that. All we're going to do is right click on it and remove mark and that'll get rid of it. And then let's say we want to put it in a different color. We can do that. Now, something else we can do if we want to, again, we're just going to select some text here. You can see in the middle here, it says insert stars. We click on that. Then we're also going to get some little stars next to the text here, as well as highlighting it. If you want to get rid of the star, just right click on the star, it will go away. And I'm just going to remove this one as well. There is also a more freeform highlighter. Uh, so if you click on this little button here, that says highlighter. What you can do here, just like you would do with pen and paper, you can actually highlight whatever bits you want. You may wish to highlight the paragraph above. Oops, I highlighted the wrong thing. So I'm just going to remove my highlighter, remove the mark, and then this is the paragraph I want to highlight because it tells me to. You may wish to highlight the paragraph above. Fantastic. I can just switch off my highlighter here. Now, let's say um, we're having a look and we right click by mistake. <laughs> if you want to get rid of this little palette box, just click on this thing here that says enable this menu, menu, enable disable menu on selection and we'll get rid of it. Okay, so we've got another little feature here, uh, another couple of features to look at. So one of them is, let's have a look for a good example. Let's highlight this text. Now this time we're going to click on this thing that says insert note. Now you can use the learning platform to write notes. So let's try this. This is important. So when you do that, you can keep your notes in the learning platform. Now I will offer a word of caution here. This is all very good uh, if you want to keep everything in the learning platform, if you're studying on a go, if you don't like faffing around with a pen and paper. Now, if anything ever happens to your enrollment, let's say you unenroll, re-enroll, canceled, withdrawn, come back later, whatever, it's not going to remember everything you put in here if you've been unenrolled and then re-enrolled. So what we really recommend, we show you these tools because a lot of people like to use them, but really, we recommend keep your own notes in a separate place to the learning platform, just in case. All right, now I'm going to show you one more thing. So let's take this, we'll select the text, right click. There's a little button here that says make a comment in social network. So if we click that, what's going to happen is that we can here make a comment. 
Now, this is good if we want to be able to ask questions of the staff. So you can select the text or you don't have to select the text. You can just uh, write any question you like. Like this, for example, uh, what does this mean? Help, I need help, whatever it is you're struggling with. You can put your question in here and click share. Now, anybody that is enrolled in this subject, everybody's going to see it. That's okay, don't be shy. The staff will definitely see your question as well and we will promise to get back to you. The other thing you can do, of course, is just email your question in and we'll be sure to help you with it. So to get away from this Discuss tab, we can just go back to the Path tab to see our navigation menu. Anytime you wanna see what other people have asked, you can just dive in here and have a look. You can also just get rid of this navigation pane completely by clicking two arrows up here if you just want to be a little bit more focused, but you can bring it back again like so. Finally, I've made all these highlights all over my notes. I don't like them. I can get rid of any particular one of them by just right clicking and then selecting remove mark. If you're feeling a little bit more brave and you just want to get rid of the lot, <laughs> you can just click on, I think it's this one here, clear all markings notes for this chapter. Are you really sure you want to do that? Okay, I'm sure. There we go. Nice, clean start. So that pretty well wraps it up for this little orientation. I'm just going to click here, back to course page. I'll click on the home button. And I might want to click on my courses just so I can see what I'm enrolled in or all courses if I just fancy browsing a little bit more. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. Um, we are here to help you. So when you do enroll with us, absolutely, please do feel free to email in any questions you have and we'll be happy to help you learn more with Switch On Health.